This video reviews Schwinn M-Power Echelon console, speed, and power sensor wiring and installation. Unbox and remove packaging materials for the Echelon console. Ensure the following pieces are there. Console, batteries, mounting bracket and hardware, speed sensor, bracket vanity cover, console to sensor connection wire. For this video, we are installing speed and power sensors. The console to speed sensor wire included in the console box will not be used. Unbox and remove the packaging materials for the power sensor. Ensure the following pieces are there. The power sensor with mounting screws and grommet, the white speed to power sensor wire, and the black power to console wire. Step 1. Remove the adapter and the speed sensor from the sensor housing. The adapter is for mounting the speed sensor to the AC Performance, AC Sport, and AC Classic bikes and is not necessary on the AC Performance Plus or Carbon Blue bikes. Step 1A. Locate and connect one end of the white two-pin speed to power sensor wire into the speed sensor. Seat the cable stay and reinsert the speed sensor into the housing. Connect the end of the white two-pin speed to power sensor wire into the power sensor. Seat the cable stay into the power sensor housing. Step 2. Thread the console power sensor wire with the power sensor connection end first into and down the handle. Remove or replace the handlebar as necessary. Step 2A. Remove the screws and lift the user right side brake cover for access to the cable. Connect the cable to the power sensor and seat the cable stay. Attach the grommet and mount to the brake carriage. Step 3. Remove two screws from the chain belt guard front. Route the speed sensor between the fork and flywheel. Insert the cap washers between the sensor and the chain or belt guard screw holes and fasten. Step 3A. Once the speed sensor is mounted, rotate the flywheel. Ensure the sensor is aligned 2 mm from and is not rubbing on the flywheel. Adjust as needed. Step 3B. Loop the white speed to power sensor wire over the right fork cover connector, ensuring the wire does not contact the flywheel, then fasten the cover. Step 4. Connect the cable tie provided in the hardware pack to the underside of the handlebar post and route the black console connection wire through. Step 5. Mount the console bracket to the front of the handlebar assembly. Step 5A. Insert the batteries, connect and fasten the console to the bracket. Plug in the wire connection and fasten the bracket vanity cover. Step 
Final inspection. Calibrate the console and sensors once the machine is in its final destination. Inspect the machine to ensure all fasteners are tight and components properly assembled. Verify the following. All parts operate smoothly and wiring does not interfere with moving parts. Use the console to ensure it provides proper feedback, watts, and RPM information. Low resistance at 75 to 80 RPMs should equal roughly 22 to 27 watts, with watts steadily increasing as resistance is added. Calibrate or recalibrate as necessary. Console firmware has been updated to the latest version. Schwinn default gear feature turned off and the rider calibration feature turned on.